All right, so, hey there, buddy and botanists. I'm Aaron. And we're just a couple of backyard botanists, and this is Botany for Kids. Sorry, it just got really windy right here. So, Evie's actually gonna tell you what we're talking about today. Buttercups. We're talking about buttercups. And so, we're gonna learn about plant families. We're gonna start to learn about those. And right now, we're actually doing buttercups. And we're tell them a little bit about plant families in general. Well, I mean, they look similar to their family. Like, um, we have the same face. Yeah, so just like human families, just like human families, plant families have similar physical characteristics. And a lot of times they look similar if you know what to look for, okay? So today we're talking about the buttercup family. And, and the fancy science word for buttercup family is ranunculaceae. Ranunculaceae? Yeah, let's break it down. Ranuncu? Ranunculaceae. Lacee. Ranunculaceae. Now, we've got a member of the buttercup family right here behind Evie's ear. Which you may have seen before if you watched our garden tour. Yeah, exactly. This uh, is called a columbine. This is called a columbine. Very good, Evie. And a columbine is in the buttercup family. And so it has certain characteristics, one of which is it has lots of boy parts. What are those called? Stamens. Stamens. Very good. Yeah, uh, uh, stay men. Very good. It has lots of stamens. Stay. Men. <laughs> it also has. Stay, puppy. It also has petals that are what? Pointy. Pointy petals. And we can't really see it in this columbine, but other buttercups, you can see the girl parts or the pistils, and they're also pointy. And a lot of times, even have hooks, just like these petals do. I love how you're just blowing <laughs> bubbles right now. <clears throat> so, you can also see this columbine is starting to form a fruit called a follicle. 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 Now, what we're going to do is we'll take a closer look at another member of the buttercup family. Hi. <laughs> so, we wanted to tell you one more thing about the buttercup family that we'd oh, forgotten. Not in we forgot to mention. Tell them about the leaves. They're soft and veiny. They're veiny, yeah. They're veiny. So, so just like you can see our veins in our body, a lot of times you can easily see the veins in certain leaves inside of plants. Show them that leaf up close. You see how you can see those veins? Very good, okay, that's good. Let's take a closer look at another buttercup. Mm -hmm. Now here we're looking at a couple members of the buttercup family. We've already seen the columbine. This yellow flower right here is called a small flower buttercup. It has a very small flower, but you can see it has similar characteristics. It has lots of stamens, pointy petals. Oh, it looks like we have a little bug friend coming to visit. He's like, what is this? Tell me all about it. And one thing that we can see on the little buttercup that we couldn't see because there's stamens in the way on the columbine are these pointy or hooked pistils. Now they're very small, so we're going to take a closer look. In this buttercup, we can actually see the pistils. And you can see the pistils are kind of pointy and have little hooks at the end of them. And in a lot of different flowers in the buttercup family, we can see hooked pistils or pointy pistils. And the leaves even look pretty similar. That's the buttercup leaf. And that is the columbine leaf, both in the buttercup family. All right, so. Today we learned about plant families and how plant families have similar physical characteristics. What plant family did we learn about today? Buttercup. The buttercup family. And we learned that they have similar characteristics like similar flowers with 
pointy petals and pointy pistils and lots of veins. lots of veins and lots of stamens. And so when you get a chance, it might be tricky. You can head outside and see if you can find some buttercups. Or at least you can look closely at families and try and figure out which flowers might be in the same families. As always, I'm Aaron. Uh, I'm Angie, and I almost said Tabby, and I'm Aaron again. And you almost said what? I'm Aaron again. You almost said you're Aaron again. I'm Aaron. And I'm Ruby. And this is Botany, Botany for Kids. Kids.